Um, and, and on the topic of uh, potential body counts, uh, there's some news with Huma Abedin. Yes, I was I was shocked, shocked, I tell you, to see that Huma Abedin has dropped civil divorce proceedings from her husband, Anthony Weiner, who is, as we speak, sitting in a federal prison somewhere for sending dirty, nasty messages to little girls on Twitter or whatever. Okay, and I just I saw this and people were just like, well, I hope they work it out. I'm like, what? Okay, there's one reason. There is exactly one reason why Huma Abedin has dropped divorce proceedings against Anthony Weiner. And that reason is, is that in the United States of America, spouses cannot be compelled to testify against each other in court. And Miss Huma is up to her hairy little eyebrows in in all kinds of felonious activity with regards to Hillary Clinton's emails and just taking copying and pasting entire massive PNG I assume they're PNG files filled with classified documents and all kinds of top secret stuff and you know just copying and pasting them onto her pervert husband's porn laptop I mean the, uh, Huma Abedin it was, it was if, the shared if it was marital a, laptop apparently the shared marital laptop oh that's gross <laughs> that's really gross I didn't mean it to sound um, that way he's just you know, yeah, it's just okay it's, never mind it's it's a it's a function of the culture um and so um yeah that that whole thing happened and i saw that on drudge and people being kind of mystified about this like oh come on you guys i mean we we covered this before huma abedin married um anthony weiner he was a double beard okay so huma abedin is um hillary clinton's lesbian concubine oh, and, and has been who officiated at the wedding Ben Bill Clinton officiated at the wedding. Yes, that's did. right. That's right. So she's she's Hillary Clinton's lesbian concubine. So Anthony Weiner was a beard in in the traditional sense of the of the slang term, which means when a sex pervert um, who's engaging in sexually perverted acts or just per- perverted sodomitical acts with someone of the same sex. Um, when they go out and they try to find an opposite sex person to to enter into a fake marriage with um, to cover the fact that they are sex perverts. And especially for for Huma Abedin, this was very big because she her parents um, were and are and continue to be and Huma Abedin was herself extraordinarily active you know they were the, one of the main leadership families in the muslim brotherhood for years and years and years and i think the mother still is i think the mother is still involved or the head of the women's auxiliary for lack of a better term of the muslim brotherhood and huma herself worked as the editor of the muslim brotherhood's uh, newsletter magazine whatever you would call it for years and years so you know if you're going to be you know m- this princess of the Musloid terrorist milieu, um, you know, being known to be an open lesbian is not going to fly. Yeah, the men are all sodomites, and that's that's different. But you know, the women, it's obviously not acceptable um, to them for women to be to be sodomites like that. And then the other thing, the other aspect of the beard dynamic with Anthony Weiner is that, okay, as we just covered, Huma Abedin is just you know, on both sides of her family, her DNA is a 110% Muslim Brotherhood, and she worked herself in the Muslim Brotherhood for years and years and years. So she's up to her eyeballs in the Islamic political system and all of that. What dynamic does Anthony Weiner also provide cover in terms of, well, he's the world's biggest and most repulsive Jew, right? I mean, Anthony Weiner embodies Every negative stereotype, just and unjust, about Jews. He is the world's biggest, most repulsive Jew. Um, And so what she does is she, you know, quote unquote, marries him. She marries him. And now if anybody and has a has a child with him, pray for that little boy. Good grief. That poor kid. Um, She marries him. She has a kid with him. So now if anybody comes to her and says, hey, wait a minute, look at all this stuff. You're up to your eyebrows in the Muslim Brotherhood. You're like involved in this terrorist organization. She can point and say, 
look who I'm married to. I'm I'm married to the world's biggest Jew. I'm I'm not anti-Semitic. One of my one I'm of my not, closest I'm not partners anti-Semitic. is anti-Semitic. I'm, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So there's this double beer dynamic. Now <laughs> she's stuck. She's stuck because when she started copying all of this highly classified and top secret stuff onto the shared marital laptop, she now drags him in to all of this into her own felonious criminal activity. Now she has to stay married to them to him so that the government cannot compel him to testify against her. And boy, oh boy, one, one would have to really think that Anthony could, uh, could really drop a load on, on Miss Huma. So now she's, she can't even civilly divorce him now. But I I had had heard that there were some things lined up to, for uh, Wiener to get prosecuted for things that were going to put him in jail for life or worse. And he did this whole sexting thing or whatever it was from the laptop so that he could get caught so that it could, that laptop could be taken by the FBI and they could see what was on it. And then he was going to make his deal based on that. Now I don't Uh, know if that was complete crackpot or, or, or not, but considering he, he would not have been in the dark what all was on that laptop. He may not have been able to decrypt it, but I mean, again, whom it was, it just came out recently. She was sending the passwords for sensitive state department things to her Yahoo email account. So she can access things more easily. Well, okay. The reason why these things are hard to access is because they are state secrets. Literally, you're not Mm -hmm. supposed to be sending it. And and this was right before Yahoo got hacked too. So, you know, there, if you want to talk about Russian involvement with the United States, that might be an angle to investigate. There are a lot more connections between the Clinton camp and Russia. I don't know about uranium and, and other things. Um, so if you want to start really, you know, <laughs> digging up trouble with the Russians, it's, it's not with, it's not with the current uh, occupant of the white house. It's, it's the, uh, the pre the previous, uh, people who were in there. That's, that's no doubt. And, you know, don't be fo- be fooled by anything about, Oh, Huma and Anthony are trying to work it out. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Plea agreements is what they're trying to work out. <laughs> Anthony Weiner either needs to be legally married to Huma Abedin or dead. I mean, if, if seriously, if I were Anthony Weiner, I'd be, at, and I'm in prison, I would be scared poopless. I would be scared poopless that the, the Clintons were putting out a contract on me because you know, it, it has to be one or the other. He can't be civilly divorced from her and thus able to be compelled to testify. So, oh man, but you know, it couldn't have happened. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe that's unchristian <laughs> and not nice to say, but what, what a sleaze bag. I was what just going to say, an I, absolute scumbag. It's not an man. enviable position to say the least. I mean, I, I would have worded it a little bit differently than you did, but yeah, it's definitely, def- I wouldn't want to trade spots with them in, in any way, shape or form. Yep. Not at all. Yep. So there, that's my little Huma Abedin oh, rant. There you go. 